Welcome to our lecture online. Related rates problems are very useful in all kinds of different situations, including something like Boyle's Law. With Boyle's Law, we know that we have a thermodynamic process where the temperature will be constant. And so PV equals nRT, which is our ideal gas equation, then means that PV is equal to nRT, well, n is the number of moles, R is a constant and T will be kept constant with Boyle's law, so we know that PV is going to be equal to a constant. The product of the pressure times the volume in the gas will be constant under Boyle's law, which means that P initial times V initial is going to be equal to P final times V final. We're going to have this relationship, which means that since we know this relationship between pressure and volume, we can apply that to a situation here where we have a gas in a cylinder. The gas has a volume initially at 2,000 cubic centimeters and a pressure initially at 400 kilopascals. That's 400,000 pascals. We're pushing down on the gas in such a way that the temperature remains constant and the rate of change of the pressure as a function of time is one kilopascal per second. The pressure is increasing by one kilopascal per second. The question is, when that's happening at this very moment in time, what will be the change in the volume per unit time? Well, here we have PV equals nRT, and we know that's equal to a constant. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this equation, and we're going to take the derivative of that equation uh, both sides of that equation with respect to time. So on the left side we get the ddt of the product of pressure times volume. On the right side we're going to get the ddt of nRT which is simply a constant. On the left side we have a product. So it will be the first times the derivative of the second which is dv dt plus the second which is v times the derivative of the first which is dp dt. And that has to equal the rate of change of a constant, which of course is zero. What we're looking for, of course, is the change in the volume with respect to time, which means we have to solve that equation for dv dt. Moving this to the other side, we get p times dv dt is equal to the negative volume times dp dt. And of course, dividing both sides by p, we get dv dt is going to be equal to the negative V over P times dP dt. Now we can plug in everything that we have. The original volume, or the volume at this moment in time, is 2,000 cubic centimeters. So that's a minus 2,000 centimeters cubed. So we can't forget the negative. Divided by P, the pressure, which is 400 kilopascals. And then we have to multiply them the rate of change of the pressure, which is one kilopascal per second. Notice the kilopascals cancel out, and that leaves us with cubic centimeters per second, which is the change in volume over time. Uh, these two zeros cancel out those two zeros, and we have 20 divided by 4. That would be, and the negative sign, that would be minus 5 cubic centimeters per second. And that would then be the change in the volume per time when the pressure is increasing at one kiloparsec per second. So you can see there's lots of applications, including applications with Boyle's Law, when we're dealing with related rates. And that's how it's done.